Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things, my stock science mode exploration in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We are here with Spaceship One around Minmus and we are about to start the burn to Jewel. Now I'll talk about how I set up this burn in a sec. Uh, okay, my throttle is not working. I've throttled down the Bobcats in the hope that that helps us stay balanced. Now you'll note that the burn is really big. And that's because we don't have the benefit of Kerbin's Oberth effect out here near Minmus. And let me go back over here. Uh, so, yeah. The Oberth effect means that when you're doing a prograde burn like the one we're doing here to go out to Joule, we would like to already be going fast. In order to optimize it for Minmus, because we aren't already going fast, we are going very slowly actually, uh, I have made sure that we're burning here uh, basically at 3 o'clock in relation to Kerbin's own path with Minmus itself. Minmus has to be over here to optimize it. And also, of course, we have the right transfer window to Joule, which is about 96 degrees. We're a little bit less than that because I have to wait for Minmus to get into position. So that is the situation. We don't have a whole lot of extra Delta V here. Uh, since we only had 2,600 and this burn is going to take 2,300 and then the mid-course correction is going to take 55. I'm hoping to get Leif interested in helping us capture, otherwise we're going to have trouble. Right now the plot has Leif capturing us around Jewel. That's... Uh, a little bit wild here. Okay. Three hundred left. I'm gonna try and use the RCS to just finish this off as accurately as possible. I'll get rid of the mid-course correction actually, and just see what's happening around Jewel. Elu's hanging out right there, but that's the wrong position for us to do something interesting with it. So since I last made a video. There have been a lot of real life things happening. Uh, Starship, uh, star I say Starship, but uh, Super Heavy got caught by the chopsticks, and Falcon Heavy launched Europa Clipper. So, in a way, going over to Jewel like this is sort of appropriate because uh, Jewel is the Jupiter equivalent. But, well, I, I, honestly, I don't think I'm going to be matching either of those things soon. Though, uh, I guess I could make a Europa Clipper model. I think there's a good NASA one available. At least, f well, yeah. that That's more possible than me catching Super Heavy with the chopsticks right now, that's for sure. Okay, well, that's an encounter. Okay, if that's being honest, I'll take that. I don't know if a lower pass... I don't want to mess this up now. Uh-oh, I messed it up. <laughs> okay, maybe I should just not mess with it. That seems awful sensitive, though. We'll see if that works. Okay, we are heading away from Minmus. I hope this much solar power will be good around Jewel. Uh, Jewel will have quite a lot less solar power than here. And we have a lot of science to do. And we're head out of the Kerbin system. Making sure our path is fairly close to Kerbin's own path around Kerbal. Could have probably got that a little bit closer, but again, Mimus had to be in the right place. So. Alright, we are now around the sun. Have we done everything possible around here? Oh, the Sentinel, uh, maybe I should start object tracking. Log, log observational data. Can you transmit and log more observational data? Okay, we'll send the rest to the lab. We get more in the lab. I mean, we've got a long transfer ahead of us. Probably have our scientists reset that, but let me just do the goo. Okay, I think we've stored quite a lot in there. Oh no, it just says 163. Hmm. Let me clean experiments. 
Well, then I'll do the Science Junior as well. I'm glad they can clean out the experiments remotely. Oh, this is the view from inside the cupola. I don't even remember the last time I tried to look inside the cupola in stock. All right. Well, we've got some science brewing. Let me go to the make course correction. Oh, power is iffy because of the science, I guess. I mean, it recharges normally. And then at this level of time warp, it goes to 900. I've got KSP community fixes in here, and I would have thought that that would be one of those things that they fix. I don't know, maybe it's not possible to fix it? I mean, maybe it's just the solar panel orientation, let's see. But, I mean, of course, it is recharging, it's just being silly about it. Yeah, it's just gonna be that, that way. Well, fine. Um, let's go to the tracking station so that the science keeps happening. Otherwise, if it doesn't have power, I don't know. Or if it thinks it doesn't have power, I don't know if the science will keep happening. It's a pretty close call with Duna right there. I'm actually shocked that we didn't get something with Duna accidentally. Oh, we have more stuff here. Some pilots have been... Or maybe just one pilot. Yeah, uh, one pilot has been promoted. How's that science coming along? Oh, we're full of science. Okay. Transmit science. Ooh. I don't know if we can get all of it transmitted like that. I should have put more batteries. Can we just partially transmit? I guess we can't. Well, that's a flaw. We're gonna have to... with our... we should have sent a tender too. We need to send a tender... well, next year we will send a tender and also add some batteries to that. Got that. We needed a lot more electric charge. This is really only the first iteration of the spaceship series. We'll have many others that are larger and more capable with landers and all that business. Alright, correction burn. Okay, we still have a lathe encounter and it's still getting us into orbit. Okay, well this is fancy. We got a pass by lathe and then there's a pass by of Tylo there. So that's not bad. If only we could transmit the science. <laughs> but, okay, we're set up for that. Point 0.8 once we get into the dual system. Alright, but... I need to figure out when I can next send something. Urban's already going to be getting into a position for that as we time warp. Well, I'm going to go to the tracking station and once Urban is in position, I'll send the tender which will refuel, add batteries, and maybe do a few other things. We are going to have a subtle little problem here in that having the spaceship in line with all the moons means the moons can sort of toss the spaceship about. So we can't leave it alone or not pay attention to it and risk it being perturbed. Okay, anyway, we are in another jewel transfer window and I intend to cook up the next mission. Alright, so here's our tender at nearly a mass of 600 tons on the pad because we're going to be delivering a lot of fuel over to Jewel, I hope. And basically this tank here is what I'm trying to deliver and then the rest of it is what I'm going to use to get there. And that amounts to, in vacuum, 2,400 meters per second almost. So, whether that's got to be enough, as long as we're transferring out from Kerbin, it should be about 2,000 meters per second, and then hopefully we get a moon to help us capture. Then we have to worry about exactly how much delta V it takes to rendezvous. 
Now, of course, if it turns out we don't have enough with the 2400, I'll just unlock this tank and start using some of that, and then we definitely have enough. So it's just a matter of how much we can de deliver. We're not gonna end up not being able to rendezvous. And I've got RCS tanks down here. I've got extra ones up here to actually help refuel the ones on the spaceship. And the batteries, uh, you know what? These I shouldn't have tucked in there. These are the ones that I want to give to the spaceship. And so I'm going to put them here and maybe eight of them. Make sure it has definitely enough. So we'll put those out there so it's easier for the Kerbal to grab and move them over to the spaceship. And we've got antenna photovoltaic panels. And we have the first use of the poodle, not the two, not the double bell poodle, just a single one. The, the sort of mimicking a J2, I feel. And that is what I'm going to use. And then we have a big old rocket with four of the main sails down here. And our first use of the thoroughbreds, I think. And also the first use of the separatrons. <laughs> so lots of firsts around here. And it seems like a no-nonsense rocket to me. We keep getting into orbit with a lot of mainsail Delta Vs, so I've tried to limit it this time. And we've got basically 3,500, almost 3,500 in these two stages. It's a pretty high thrust weight ratio at the start. So hopefully it'll all work out. All right, so that's our tender. And let us launch. Now, without hangar extender, I don't know how big a rocket I can actually make. I might have to get hangar extender for the really big spaceships. I don't know if I've got a way to avoid that. But I'll cross that river when we get to it. So SAS on, throttle up, and launch. That's a nice sound. Ooh, it's a bit wobbly. I'm gonna auto strut more. Well, way steeper than I was intending, but I'm trying not to flip honest. Okay. Okay, booster set. We can't even hear the boosters over the mainsails. That's some flex. Right at the poodle joint. Well, let's throw all down. I'm trying to sort of waste this. Okay. Alright, it will be suborbital. Let me throw all down for now. Okay, all that business is off. We've got the docking port there. And that's in orbit. Okay, so out to Jewel. Okay, 1883, and then we'll do a mid course correction afterwards. Now, this has a really long burn time. See that 9 minutes and 31 seconds? So that's not great. But we'll take it. Didn't want to put more than one poodle. Or a whole... I thought about cheetahs. I thought about four cheetahs. Forgot about... I keep forgetting to turn on the music. I really ought to turn on the music. Might be that I should do this burn in two bits. Considering where the prograde vector is, I think that's going to happen. I'm going to do this in two chunks. Okay, alright. That's not much, but it's a start. Basically cut out two minutes, but it's better than doing it all at the same time. And now our orbit is a little bit flatter in the area of the burn because we lifted it up it's not quite as curved well fine but i have to watch out for that periapsis and see that it doesn't go into the atmosphere which it probably will try to maybe we'll escape that well all the radialness is making this not so efficient but it's jewel we shouldn't have to worry too much <laughs> We'll get there somehow. Okay, well, sort of closer to Jewel this way. Maybe that'll save some. So, mid-course correction. 
Well, there we have Leif doing its thing again. But the question is whether that's going to help us rendezvous with our target or not. And I'll only really figure that out once the target's in orbit as well. So we'll say uh, 13 point, oh, sorry, 17.3 meter per second burn in order to capture. Well, in order to pass by Leif in order to capture. And that'll be our Micros correction. Okay, 0, 0.0. What do we get in terms of the Leif encounter? Well, looks like what I tentatively planned for, though I'll, of course, do a little adjustment once we get there. And that'll be somewhat dependent on exactly what's going on with our other mission. The target, the intended target. That's a little bit lower than the orbit that the intended target is getting into. Okay, uh, just 1.3 meter per second correction when we get into dual space, and this of course will be arriving after the spaceship, back to tracking station. Well, we are now in dual space, I was about to say Jupiter space, and Marfield is now a three-star pilot, so we've got maneuver hold. But I really need to roll in order to get more sunlight here. Uh, doesn't seem great. Uh, if I turn off the... Processing lab, then it's okay. Right now we are full up on the science and we don't have enough power in order to transmit it, so I guess I'll just keep that off. Oh, oh, oh okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, something could be happening at Tylo. What's happening there is probably not something we want to have happen right now. <laughs> Um, but the main thing is trying to get into orbit, and that's going to happen with the Lathe Pass first. So, proceeding. Ah, but I'll still have to time warp in the tracking station, because... Well, it doesn't really matter if the power goes out, though. The Kerbals don't die here when we lose electric charge. That happens with uh, certain life supports. All right, Kerbals arriving in the Jewel system. I guess we should check on the science that we can transmit. I mean, we've transmitted science from the Jewel system before, right? Or maybe not because we didn't have comms. Yeah, we. I'll just send this atmospheric scan and all over. Let's get some. Okay, and then I'll log it again and plop it into the lab. I'll transmit what I can of this, but I don't know if a thousand is going to be enough. We do have a scientist. Okay, it was enough. Alright, now on to Lathe. I don't think we'll get low over Jewel like this. Or low over Lathe. But we'll get what we can. Get closer to Lace that would uh, probably perturb our orbit quite a bit more. We can't get the the scan, the resource scan done either. Okay, lab is full of data. I don't know, maybe the thermometer is small enough? Nope. Okay, we don't want to get any more of that stuff, but we could probably go with the Science Junior again and transmit that. Or transmit the 80 that we can get. Okay, passing by Lathe. We really shouldn't have the radiator pointed in this direction, this sunward. We should probably rotate 180 degrees, but I'm not going to be picky about that if it's not going to be picky about that. Alright, we'll be back for you, Lathe. There's more to be done there. I just missed a swerve, <laughs> as far as Lathe is concerned. Swerve plus jet engines was a good thing in KSP2. Of course, way OP and wrong, but still. It made for those interesting space planes that I used there. I'm gonna prefer if Tylo boosts us to a higher orbit for now, I think. 
simply because that means we'll have fewer chances to pass by Tylo because the orbital period is long. So, bit of an expenditure here. Okay, saving ourselves from a Tylo perturbation. Or too much of a Tylo perturbation. Okay, so that's how it's gonna be. Let's fly by Tylo. Hi over Tylo though. And Tylo, we can already science you. Oh, what about the Sentinel Telescope? Well, it's got object tracking, but I think we can get more science here. Especially high over Tylo. Purely transmitting because we're not doing the science right now. Oh, I keep forgetting the crew reports. Alright, well if I really wanted this to be safe, I'd just boost up away from Tylo's orbit at Apoapsis, and that... I mean, the chances that Bob or Paul are going to fling us out of the dual system are low. Or interfere with us much. Tylo, though, right there, Tylo's already getting us again. And that's a dangerous one, for sure. <laughs> We're crashing into Tylo and Jewel! Getting tight on the we need to save ourselves fuel. Okay, well, using RCS to do that is probably not a good idea. Okay. So, that's our orbit now, and hopefully Tylo's not going to interfere, right? <laughs> okay. The tender is now in Jewel SOI. We probably passed the node with it. By 17 hours, so not too bad. Okay, healthy Leith Periapsis. We've got an orbit. Probably a lower orbit than I actually want. Hmm. Considering our, our intended target is really high up. I don't want to have to do a whole lot of other moon swing bys in order to get to it. Well, that's looser, but I don't super see how that helps. Maybe if we've got one in that's close to the target's orbit, to Spaceship One's orbit. Okay, still safe, Lathe Periapsis, but a little bit higher up. Coming in. But I must keep an eye on our spaceship, just in case Tylo messes with it. Okay, Tinder passing by Leif to capture. Around Jewel. Not around Leif yet. And that is done. It has no science to do. So, now I have to figure out how to do this rendezvous. Well, that would be a lot of juice. So, we're going to need some moon help. Well... That's us getting unexpected help from Val, and actually very low periapsis, but this doesn't do science, so... Uh, maybe that's just cutting it a little bit too close, considering how bumpy Val is. We're getting boosted like that. Which isn't the best thing for meeting up with Spaceship One. Uh, let's see, there's, there's two markers there, coming closer. Okay, what's the relative speed? Uh, that's not a relative speed I want. Well, if I add a maneuver up there, and then try to meet up with it up there, still not what I want, but better. Okay, well, that's probably the best I can do. We'll do the Val flyby first, and then I'll tweak that a little bit, but we're talking about using 455... Well, let's see... 120 plus 455 of what we were supposed to deliver. So, well anyway, I'm gonna unlock this tank now. We're gonna be using some of it. Okay. Let's just do a little bit of ignition here. Okay, well that's as good as I'm gonna get that. 
then 270 after we pass by Lathe in order to boost up. And now that's not giving me the right encounter. But maybe I should wait until after the Lathe encounter, uh, not Lathe, uh, Val encounter before thinking about that. So, pass by a Val, wish I had some signs on here, but I don't. That's a drastic difference from the high over Val look to low over Val look. Thanks to uh, Astronomer's visual pack, though. I feel like it loses some of its Valness. Okay, we have comms. Let me try and fiddle around with this node here. Alright, well, 30 kilometer separation there. 509 plus 332 now. So, that's changed on me, but all right, we'll do it. Right now, the batteries are perhaps even more important than the fuel. Oh, it looks like, uh, aside from Minmus, we get this sort of flame issue with waterfall around Jewel, high over Jewel. So that's interesting. So it's not just Minmus, it's here too. And it's like totally black in this direction. That right there is a super special engine. <laughs> okay, 52 is what I can get right now. All right. It's going to be a long time. We've got an orbital period of 64 days. Okay, ooh, that's getting close to Tylo. Oh no, that's Bop. Okay, that's fine. It's clear of Tylo. I think we'll meet up this time. Okay, big burn. Engage. Okay, well. We are going to be within render range over there. All right, and that's the docking port. And we've docked. All right, well, again, not transferring as much as I would have liked, but, but it's something. Probably not enough to actually get back home. Maybe enough to get back home. But then probably not enough to capture safely around Kerbin. So, yeah, I mean, we are going to be looking at another trip over here to refuel this, I think. But for now, I, well, we have to move the batteries and start really doing science around here with... Well, I can start this now. Um, we can start that. I thought we had, uh, oh yeah, we were full up. So let's transmit science because now we have all the batteries. Oh no, it's still not enough battery? No, come on. Oh, you know what? Let me stop research. No, it's just a little bit too little. No. Uh, Sort of got the solar panels pointed optimally at this. No, it's not. Actually, we could probably do better. That's at 98%. Come on. The key is to try and stay charging while it's transmitting. We're not getting that much charge around here. But okay, that's probably optimal there. Let me retract the radiator. radiator. We're not really using it much. Okay, it managed it just like barely. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Well, now we can start research. It is to recharging right now. So we can leave them researching. But I should probably get into a safer orbit and not have the tinder attached to it. I mean, this has been an all right orbit for now. Okay. But 
we are here around Jewel with crew and doing science. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, as they transmit some comments back. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.